Having a team that works well together on your wedding day is really important. I've been a wedding videographer for 12 years now and working with people in the industry, it, it can make or break a client's experience, though any good wedding professional is gonna try as hard as they can um, to make things smooth. But we're gonna talk about things you should be thinking about as you're putting together that wedding team. And today I'm talking with Kayla. She's a wedding photographer based out of Wyoming. And her and I have worked a ton of weddings together in Jackson Hole specifically. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So what are your thoughts, Kayla, on a couple putting together a team? So having a team that works well together or that's worked consistently together really makes your wedding day a little bit more efficient. Um, you know how each other communicates, you know what to expect. Uh, you know, I know lots of, you know, wedding planners, same thing. I mean, they, they like certain teams because they know how well they can execute a wedding day, right? Mm -hmm. Even outside of that, like say you have some vendors that are new, I really think with your photography and videography team, it really complements your wedding to have those vendors that work well together. Uh, you know, like you and I, we've done several weddings together at this point and we know we shoot on the same lenses. We know how our creative, you know, minds work and the visions. And and I don't think you're ever in my shot, and hopefully I'm never in yours. But <laughs> well, it's like case in point. We were just shooting that wedding at Jackson Hole Golf and Tennis, and the bride was going to do a first look. I think we were not a little crunched on time, but we were trying to move things along so that we stayed on schedule. And remember, we're talking through, we're like, hey, how do we want to do this first look? We had grass, we had a little deck, and then we decided, hey, let's do first look, but then also a reveal to the bridesmaids and putting the wedding dress on all outside. And so it's just things like that where you and I are bouncing ideas off. Me as a videographer, I like want to know what is your vision? Is there something specific you want to execute on? Then how can I cater to that and play alongside that? But it is, it's such a give and take where you and I are essentially dancing all day. Like that was a phenomenal wedding. Like we did so much throughout the reception. Like that was such a fun reception too. And it was so great. Like us working together as a team on that one, because, you know, we do, we bounce those ideas off of each other. We talk about lighting, you know, we pulled the cake table out because we're like, well, I think they need more space and we need more space. So like we communicated this and had it set up before the reception even started so that we could set our couple up for success. Yeah. And I think that that's so great to like have somebody to work with. I've worked with some absolute terrible videographers this year and it affects the couple as, as sad as like, I hate to say that, but some couples, they are a little bit more budget oriented, totally understand that. And so one of the people, he was like behind the bride the whole time she walked down the aisle. There's no buddy video footage of her walking down the aisle with her dad of her face or anything. And mm -hmm. so because he was behind her, he also was in all of our photographs. So then it takes my editor's trying to do extra editing. It takes longer for the couples to get their photos back. Sometimes maybe it's impossible to edit that person out. But my second, same thing. He was in all of her shots. At one point, he hit me in the head with his camera. He stepped on my foot, you know, things like that were it ruining potentially my photography as well as ruining his videography. And so you have to be very cognitive about the experience that somebody has. And if they've never worked together before, Lots of people can, and they can do a phenomenal job. I love working with new people, but certain times, like in with certain weddings, like you really want to make sure you have a trustworthy vendor that knows what they're doing and communicates clearly. Again, as I'm thinking, ultimately, I think what we don't want to happen is for a couple to hire somebody because maybe they were really attracted to their work. But then the question is, well, what does it take for that individual to get that kind of work? And will that be at the expense of somebody else on the wedding team that you've hired to perform their job well? So for example, say I'm at a ceremony and you and I are talking and I say, hey, Kayla, I got this really great idea where I wanna shoot the bride from behind. Unless I can get you to sign off on that, I have to punt and say, great, I need to do something that's a win-win for both of us. Because if I mm -hmm. do what I want to do, I could be ruining something that the couple is expecting from you. And that's something that maybe yeah. couples don't think about. By hiring somebody that your other vendor team recommends, what they're saying to you is, hey, they can make this day go smoothly and we like work together. By hiring somebody who doesn't come on that recommended list or hasn't worked with them, you're opening yourself up to the opportunity that that friction could arise. And then it's on Kayla and then, or your photographer and your videographer, whoever it is, to hopefully be so catering to each other that they can come to an agreement quickly on how to address the situation. 
And then mm -hmm. the fear is that that doesn't happen. And then friction takes place. One good example that I heard of this, a downside of budget is that you're possibly getting somebody who lacks experience. And in the bride's mind, they're probably thinking, well, I'm saving some money, but what they don't envision is the negative aspect that can then arise from that. There was a wedding that a friend of mine did where they were doing the first look. The, the videographer was more in the commercial world and just was not ready for the fast pace of a wedding. And first look was happening. The videographer wasn't ready and he yelled, stop, like right as the bride was about to touch the groom on the shoulder. And the bride said, screw it continued with the first look and then cried afterwards. And the photographer saw this unfold. And it's funny, it hit me right there is that that bride probably thought this is great. We're saving some money, but she didn't realize, I guarantee no bride goes into a wedding day, hoping, thinking, I hope a vendor makes me cry or I hope a vendor yeah. ruins a key moment. And it's like, it's, those are other reasons why you or me recommend certain people because we want to capture those moments at the same time, protect those moments. Yeah. I definitely like one of my couples this year that they did, they hired a commercial videographer who had no supposedly knew how to shoot a wedding and didn't. And same thing, very upset with their video and, um, made it more difficult on my associate. Um, you know, we do, we try to communicate with everybody yeah. pre wedding, but sometimes if they just don't have the experience, like, I, I truly feel that you really do pay for what you get. And um, again, we all have budgets, but if a video is important and you're gonna spend money on it, make sure you you hire somebody that you jive well with and that you know is gonna be able to pull through day of. Asking your vendor team who that is is probably your best safest bet. So if you hire Kayla, ask Kayla, hey, who's your? who do you recommend for floral? Who do you recommend for video? Who do you recommend for this? Hey, what do you think of this venue? And same thing, get a wedding planner that you trust and you're asking them all those same questions and they can probably be the best trusted resource to guide you to that wedding that you're wanting to have. Yeah, 100%. I have a guide. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> no, 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 go okay, ahead. Cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I forgot. That was no, my no, thought no, no, summing it up. No. I'm not cutting any oh, of this I... out. We're still going, you have to go. <laughs> You had, what oh, did God, you say? Okay. You had a guide, okay, okay. what'd you say? Oh, I was gonna say, as soon as a couple books with me, the very first thing I do is I send them my client guide. Okay. Yeah. And it has every single trustworthy person that I have worked with. And I'm actually going to add it into my contract and I'm adding on there that like, if you hire somebody that's not on my list, I cannot guarantee. It's an guarantee. additional thousand dollars. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just for the pain and like, I cannot guarantee, like FYI, because we have had some videographers mess up the video, but it, essentially they can also mess up my photography and uh, you know it's it's just yeah. unfortunate and we try our best you know with our experience to work with people that that aren't as experienced and mentor them but um mm. yeah so definitely reach out talk to everybody again ask questions it's always better to ask too many than not enough yeah if you're curious about a vendor because there was a time you and i hadn't worked together and we got on a wedding together in our first wedding and you know so there's always a first time it could go good. Um, but essentially, I think what you're saying is go off the vendor list because the or the the guide because, hey, I vetted these people. I've worked with a lot more than this. Mm -hmm. And these are the only people I'm putting on my guide, i.e. the other people I've worked with. I don't trust them at a wedding day to give the couple a good experience or they don't work well with my style and, and it just creates mm -hmm. too much friction on a day. And so it's just not going to work. Maybe they're a great videographer. Maybe they're a great whatever. Um, that's something I talk to couples about is sometimes is that you might like somebody's work, but you might not like what it takes for them to get that work. You might not enjoy that process or the process just might not work well for you. So anyways, there's a lot of variables. And again, finding people you trust who make recommendations who have your best interests in mind is your best bet. So hopefully that was helpful. That's our spiel on things to think about when you're putting together a team. Hopefully you guys glean some stuff from that. If you wanna know more about Kayla, you can reach out to her and her links will be down below. I'm a wedding videographer. You can find my stuff down below as well. Thank you guys for listening. If you guys have any questions or want other content, leave comments and I'd be happy to make it.